Hello welcome. Today we are going to talk about Apple Card. A new kind of credit card created by Apple, not a bank. One of the most promising introduction to Apple users. Apple Card completely rethinks everything about the credit card. Let's discuss how Apple Card can disrupt the credit card industry. The tech giants attempt to make a foray into the finance space. It seeks to make the credit card experience more secure and user-friendly for all Apple Pay users, while offering some cool kickbacks as well. We must note that Jennifer Bailey, the Apple VP in charge of Apple Pay, was quite adamant while speaking at a Fortune event that the Apple Card is not an attempt to disrupt the credit card industry. Even so, I cannot help but notice some signs that give away that the Apple Card does indeed stand to disrupt the decades-old industry, whether or not the company intends for it to happen. Why do I say that Apple Card has the potential to disrupt the credit card industry? Number 1. The Apple Card does not need a physical card to be used. Everything comes at the tip of your fingers, with details saved on your iPhone's Apple Pay account. Even the titanium card, the tangible product meant to be swiped at stores not compatible with Apple Pay, is devoid of any physical record of data. Goldman Sachs will use your data to operate Apple Card but they will never share or sell your data to third parties for marketing or advertising. Number 2. Apple Card doesn't have any numbers on it. Not even a CVV. So that's one less thing to worry about when you hand over your card at a restaurant or store. And if you ever lose it, you can freeze it and order a new one right in the wallet app. It is simply a laser etched card that will give away nothing to a pickpocket or a burglar. Number 3. Daily cash. That's even easier to spend than cash. Whether you're grabbing coffee or reserving flights, Apple Card gives you daily cash on every purchase you make point to, and there are no limits on the amount you can get. It goes straight to your Apple Cash card in the wallet app, so you can spend it with a tap. On anything you want. Buy things in stores, on websites, and in apps. Or make a payment on your Apple Card. Or pay back a friend in messages. Or send it straight to your bank account and watch it add up. The money on your Apple Cash card can be spent using your iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, and Mac. 3% Daily Cash Get 3% daily cash on everything you buy from Apple, whether you buy it at an Apple Store, Apple.com, the App Store, or iTunes. That includes games, in-app purchases, and services like your Apple Music subscription and iCloud storage plan. 2% Daily Cash Get 2% daily cash every time you buy something using Apple Pay. That's in every category, with no limits. Imagine all the things you use a credit card for every day you'll get 2% back on just about everything. Number 3. Other credit cards have fees. Apple Card doesn't. No, really. No annual fees. No foreign transaction fees. No late fees. No reward redemption fees. No return payment fees. No over-the-limit fees. And best of all, no hidden fees which means your balance won't catch you by surprise. A few detractors have been quick to claim that the Apple Card is not revolutionary enough to warrant the status of a disruptor. However, I am ready to call the Apple Card a disruptive product for the simple reason that it has dared to usher in the winds of change into the decades-old space.